First, park rangers at Grand Teton National Park still cleaning up tonight after yesterday's severe storm. Local News 8's Chris Nesman is live from the park. Now, Chris, what happened in last night's storm there in Grand Teton? Jay, about 50 mile per hour winds knocked over a lot of trees, causing a lot of problems. Hundreds of trees fell and snapped within the park during the windstorm. Power lines also snapped, knocking out power to a lot of the park. One of the worst hit areas was the Signal Mountain Summit Road, where visitors were stranded. When the trees came down, there's about 20 trees that came down on the only road out of here, um, headed back to the Teton Park Road. Um, so it wasn't until our rangers and some of our fire crew got out here and removed those trees uh, that they were able to get out. Luckily, none of the visitors were hurt as they all had cars and places to take shelter during the storm. Reporting live in Grand Teton National Park, I'm Chris Nesman. Wow, quite a storm there. Thank you, Chris. Coming up.